Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Story Corner. I'm Pastor Rick in Lunenburg. We are continuing our series of stories from the Bible. Today will be the third chapter of what we call the book of Genesis, the first book in the Bible, the story of beginnings. God had made Adam earth creature, out of the earth, of course. Then God made another earth creature, out of Adam earth creature. An Adam earth creature decided to call the other earth creature out of me, earth creature. They were partners, and it was good. But life can be tricky, even at the best of times, even if it is good. Because in spite of all of our best efforts, life is not tame. It's wild and unpredictable and uncontrollable. And it is precisely this lack of domestication that raised some questions in the mind of out of me, earth creature. This insecurity of existence forced a certain clarity on out of me, earth creature's vision, but also raised some uncomfortable uncertainties about how out of me, earth creature had previously understood things. The wild, untamed, even though it too was part of God's good creation, raised doubts about what God actually had in mind for them. And out of me, earth creature, began to wonder, are we really okay? Am I really good, as God said? Is good, good enough? If it is, why do I feel uneasy? and troubled, and unsure. What if there's more? What if we could be more secure, and more safe, and more in control of this undomesticated life? What if, what if we, what if we could be like God? Now keep in mind, Adam Earth Creature was standing right there this entire time. They were together. They were supposedly partners. But out of me, Earth Creature didn't share the questions, or the wondering, or the asking. Out of me, Earth Creature didn't raise the issues that the trickiness of life had revealed, or the anxiety that the wild untamed had brought to light. Instead, out of me, Earth Creature simply dumped fear on Adam, Earth Creature, in the form of an easy answer. Let's try to be like God. And it became pretty obvious pretty quickly that Adam, Earth Creature, was thinking the same thing, and asking the same questions, and feeling the same apprehensions. Because Adam, Earth Creature, said, Sure, let's try to be like God. And in that moment, everything changed. Adam, Earth Creature, and out of me, Earth Creature, found that they were no longer partners. Suddenly, they were competitors trying to outdo each other in being like God, or at least what they thought it was to be like God. They were no longer comfortable in their own skins, so they grabbed leaves to cover themselves, something, anything, to hide their vulnerability. The garden changed, too, from being a place of pleasure and delight which they had been tasked to take care of, into being a place of fear and the unknown. So much so that they jumped and ran and hid from the first thing they heard, a simple breeze. Pretty ironic, actually. Now that they were trying to be like God, they had become afraid of God and everything else as well. 
quite literally everything had changed, even for God. God noticed the change right away. It was almost as if some kind of connection had suddenly been lost, because the first words out of God's mouth were, Where are you? Could it be that God, too, felt the isolation, which had just become part of the experience of creation? Adam, earth creature, now named his feelings. I heard you, and I hid, because I was naked and vulnerable, and I was ashamed of being vulnerable, and I was afraid of being vulnerable, because I didn't think that being like God would feel vulnerable. And God asked, what's all this talk of trying to be like God? And Adam, earth creature, pointed his finger at out of me, earth creature, and said, it was her idea. But the truth compelled Adam, earth creature, to admit, and I went along with it. And God said to out of me, earth creature, what have you done? And out of me, earth creature, pointed her finger at the wild untamed and said, this undomesticated creation that you gave us tricked me. But the truth compelled out of me, earth creature, to admit, and I went along with it. And God sighed and said a quiet, yes. Then God addressed them all, saying, Everything you thought you knew is changing. Everything you expected from life will be different. And this is what it will look like. To the wild untamed, God said, Every move you make will be made in the shadow of predation. Terror will stalk you, dread will walk with you, and your relationship with my appointed caretakers will too frequently be defined by death. To out of me, earth creature, God said, in your body you will bear the ongoing work of creation, but it will be excruciating work, made all the more difficult by your partnership with Adam, earth creature, too often being no more than a dream. And to Adam, earth creature, God said, with the exertion of your body, you too will contribute to the ongoing work of creation, but you listened to fear, which will never leave you. Your efforts will continually fall short of their promise, and in the end, you will remain of the earth. Adam, earth creature, looked at out of me, earth creature, and it decided to now call her life whisperer, for with him she would breathe human life into the world. But God saw that both of them were still afraid and still vulnerable and still uncomfortable in their own skins. So God took the skins of others of God's creatures and gave them those skins as clothing to cover themselves. Thus caring for them in their vulnerability, yet also demonstrating what broken creation will be. And God sent them out from the garden of pleasure and delight, and made it impossible for them to return, so that they might learn to look forward and along with their ever-present fear, might also discover hope. That's the end of this story. Thanks for joining me in Story Corner. Be safe, and we'll see you next time.